Remember Easter? Of course you remember Easter. We celebrate on Easter that Jesus rose from the dead. He got up from that tomb that they had laid him in. Well, now it's been 40 days since Easter. And after that first Easter, 40 days later, something really special happened. But first, think about this. Have you ever seen something so amazing that it stopped you dead in your tracks? Maybe it was a beautiful rainbow or a sunset. Maybe you took a trip to the Grand Canyon. Maybe you flew in an airplane for the first time and you were like, Wow. You didn't even have words to describe how incredible it was. That's exactly what happened to Jesus' disciples. Because on that 40th day after Easter, Jesus went up to heaven to be with his Father. And they just stared up, looking up into heaven, watching Jesus until they couldn't see him anymore. Can you imagine being there while Jesus went up like that? First you're talking together, and then he's going up, and up, and up. And we'd just be staring up, just like the disciples were. Just like we're staring now. Until a cloud passed in front of him, and they couldn't see Jesus anymore. They had seen it, they had seen the whole thing, and now he wasn't visible to them. Then, as we heard, two angels came and kind of snapped him out of it. Remember, the disciples had a job now, we just heard about that. Jesus gave it to them right as he was going up. He said, you will be my witnesses. So it's like Jesus was saying, even when I'm hard to see, your job is to make it so the world can see me. You and I have that job too. Jesus says, even though I'm hard to see, your job is to make the world see me. That happens in how you treat one another, how you forgive each other, how you share and are generous with other people, and how you tell other people who it is that takes away all of our sin because he's not staying up there. The angel said that Jesus will come back in the same way that you've seen him go. So we look for him to come back to take us to be with him. But until then, make it so that other people can see Jesus. But really, can we do that job on our own? Not a chance. We need his power working in us. We'll be talking more about that power next week on another special day that we call Pentecost. Don't you dare miss it!